Hello everyone, Physics here. I wanted to make a tutorial, this time covering the small diameter bombs, uh, the GBU-39s. Uh, these ones have a very similar setup to normal JDAMs. Uh, the main difference uh, these weapons have uh, two normal JDAMs like the GPU-31, the GPU-38, and the GPU-54 in its JDAM modes is the fact that these ones um, have a gliding capability and therefore have a much longer range and a much greater standoff capability. Uh, this tutorial I will be demonstrating with the small diameter bombs. As seen here, I am currently carrying eight. Uh, however, this tutorial is also completely applicable to the JSAW and the JASM. The only difference uh, is obviously the amount of targets that uh, can be targeted uh, with the uh, types of munitions that the F-16 can carry and their uh, respective amounts. Uh, so how are we going to do this? First of all, like with other JDAMs, going to go ahead here to recon onto the target. This today I will be targeting this uh, air defense battalion, and the way I have set this up is first of all on uh, when engaging uh, air defense units. Uh, SAMs specifically, I want to target primarily the radar. So, for example, I set here low blow as my first target, the flat face. Uh, there are no other targets in the SA3 units, so uh, I will target the launchers. going through the target steer points and hitting a SEP every single time. So that covers steer point 99 down to 94. So I can target two other uh, vehicles in this unit. So I'll uh, take care of the SA-14. And one of these AAA pieces. So that's down to steer point 92. From, so from, I will start steer point 99 and cycle steer points as I release the weapons and then I am going to make sure okay steer point 92 93 94 launchers up to 97 98 is the flat face 99 is the low blow so that's that looks all good to me I'm going to go ahead and save and we should be good to go uh, I will start in the air and I will be back in VR in a second. Okay, so here we are in the air. I am headed towards the uh, the target area. Uh, target area is roughly around steer point seven. Uh, the steer points that I set as a steer point targets. However, something that is important, and I think I. Uh, I had a little oversight, I forgot to mention this um, in my uh, GBU-31 tutorial. Uh, prior to launching the weapon, that steer point that you defined in the data cartridge or in the 2D screen needs to be selected and then you release the weapon on the steer point. So, I'm going to ignore uh, steer point 5 and 6, I'm going to fly direct to the target. And here we go, select steer point 9. Nine. Like their ground modes, I have already powered on the uh, GPU 39s. Uh, we should do this along with every other uh, JDAM type. Uh, power them on on the ground. Uh, that way, when we get to the target area, they are aligned and ready to go. So, as you can see, we are uh, we are roughly. 47 miles from the target and at this and at this speed Mach 0.86 and at 28,000 feet 
uh, we have a pretty nice uh, standoff range. Could be even even better, or even the standoff range could be even further if I was to go higher. So here comes the launch queue. So I'm going to get, get this off this. Get some left a little bit, so this is more visible. I'm going to active pause. So here you can see JIZ or JIZ, the unfortunate the unfortunate acronym. I don't know who it was that picked this, but uh, yeah, funny. Anyway, when you see this jizz, uh, this means JDAM in zone. Uh, this acronym means that you are in range and you can release the weapon. So I'm going to unpause. I'm going to get back on my lineup. Line up with the with the bomb fall line. And now this is this is important to. Uh, do this um, one at a time, one at a time, and don't try to make make this um, do all this uh, way too fast. I have had, I have had, and people have had hung stores if we try to do this way too fast. Weapon release button down. We saw the blinking uh, flat path marker. That means one is away. We cycle down to steer point nine eight. Again, weapon release down. Away. 97. Bomb away. Or bruiser. 0.96. It goes. Linked. Away. 95. Away. 94. 93. And finally, 92. There we go. We are all done, and switch to that one, and I'm going to offset to the left. That is an SA-3, I don't expect it to engage me at uh, too long a range, uh, but I will play it safe. I kind of want to observe the impacts if the clouds will let me of the uh, SDBs, uh, since the SA-3 SA I can get relatively close. I should have marked a uh, threat ring here uh, on the on the um, target, but that uh, I think that works. I can. So these are the... They're going to be our victims for today. Here defending Angjin Air Base. Now if I can just show the weapon on the right view. There you go. there we go. These are the SDBs. That's my aircraft. These are unpowered, however as you can see they deploy little tiny wings and they are gliding. There's one there back and there's another one. If are flying happily towards the target. Like other JDAMs, this weapon is a fire and forget weapon. Uh, so, as soon as you release, you can go ahead and do any uh, evasive maneuvers that you uh, deem necessary. Uh, you can RTB or do whatever you want, uh, no further guidance needed. Once these weapons are away, the um, once these weapons are away, you cannot affect their uh, flight path. So let's go check on the weapons again. Here we go. They are still flying towards the target. Uh, they take a little time. Observing the, still trying to maintain observation on the target. And they should be inbound within a minute, I believe.
Okay. Weapon. These uh, SDBs are about to hit home. <clears throat> I think that was the SA-14 that bomb just hit. We will observe. There it is, explosions all over the, uh, the airbase. Oh, and that just hit the radar. I was about to say that uh, the weapon that I uh, sent um, towards that radar had failed, but um, apparently it has not. So the target area looks to be pretty, uh, pretty sanitized. Um, I'm going to check all the target sear points that I defined. So uh, sear point 98 is on fire, 97. 695, big fire there. That one was uh, an impact, looks like an impact as well. Uh, that one, I think, um, was a, a gentleman carrying an SA-14, which, uh, well, got the bomb. Okay. <laughs> and the, another fire on the AAA piece. So uh, that unit, for the most part, uh, is completely uh, destroyed. Uh, I'm getting a little low here. Uh, the way I recommend engaging these types of units in the campaign, in the campaign, um, if you're running a campaign, is to, um, if you have the possibility of engaging in these units with either SDBs or JSL, if you're doing a, a deed type mission, uh, these weapons are excellent for those types of missions because when the resupply cycles come around and stuff like that, these units, if you can cause extreme damage to them take out the radars take out take out the launchers they will take a lot of time to um, to get to be back in shape to uh, defend anything so yes that was basically um, a way to uh, employ the SDBs hopefully in a simple enough manner and understandable uh, if you have any feedback uh, by all means let me know and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching.